trying to put this Daiwa Espresso Ultralight. Probably one of the harshest environments an ultralight should be. But you know what? I like fishing ultralight. And I want to see what this baby could do. Because I know there's some pretty big halibut here. Let's see if we can handle them. Here we'll fish on. It's a little one. Alright, still fish. Finally on. Oh, there's a big wave coming. Trying to stay out of the way of it. Let's see if we can bring. I got me stuck on the rock. Oh man, it's a little tiny calico. Look at this little, little baby calico. Oh, almost got broke off. Look at that little baby calico. I think it's tiny. Fish on. Oh yeah. Our little choker. That doesn't feel too big. Oh, the nice nice thing to fight. Nice little croaker, first one of the day. A little tiny white seat, but that's funny. Okay. Look at this little bad boy. Tiny little guy. Look at him. Just twice the size of a bait. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know what it is, but it's a good one. Big croaker right there. They let him get a splash. Oh, damn, that's a fat one right there. Ooh, fat croaker. Oh, fish on. That's so weird. I don't think the fish realized he was hooked. Oh man, that's a big one too. Dang, he's gonna break me off. 
Luckily I put this thing in. Eighteen inch halibut. Oh, yeah. Nice little halibut. Let this guy go. There we go. Oh. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. At least I got something on camera for you guys this morning. That's a little one. Got wet, got my pants a little wet. Yeah, perfect for croaker. Fish on. I was telling you guys. a little hell of it. Oh, let me see if I can get close. Get them out. That's oh, a baby little collie. That's nice. Look at this Z-Man guy. Or torn up. But still. Still gonna catch fish. You just re-rig it a little, make sure to get the meaty part, and then you're good. I'm trying to see how long I can last with the Z-Man before it completely gets destroyed. Probably caught well over 40 fish with it already. You guys might recognize this spot from previous videos. We were about to put the Daiwa Preso to its ultimate test which is fishing this inlet full of rocks for spotted bass to dive into the rocks let's see how much muscle how much muscle this rod has Fish on. There we go. Oh, yep. Oh, this thing is fighting good. This thing is a little bit underpowered for this fish really underpowered I don't know if you guys can see him but he's trying to dig himself into the rocks that's a real nice one that's a good one right there that's a good bass a little underpowered, but to bring this in, man, yeah, this Daiwa Presso has impressed me so far. I killed it in the surf, and it's a little underpowered for all these rocks, but I like the challenge. At the end of the day, it is a challenge I'm trying to bring these things in. I was a little underpowered. Fish on. All right, cool. He swung towards me. Oh, come on. I you see him fighting. There we go. Pulled them out. 
Oh yeah, Presso. Real impressed with this Presso rod. Another good one. This guy too. So I got some clips for you guys. So you guys could see the rod in action. I really enjoy that rod. You know, it's a sixty dollar. I mean, it's more than sixty dollars, but you could definitely find it online for sixty bucks, and it's really good, especially for ultralight. I mean, you don't necessarily have to put it to the rigors like I did, fishing it in salt water next to rocky bottoms, fish that dig into the rocks. You know, but regardless, it it stood up to the test. You know, I, it was a stress test for me. I don't normally fish it like that. I mean, the most I was gonna plan to do is fish for croaker off the surf or maybe low low jetties. But it definitely can withstand a little bit more than a normal ultralight rod can. And it's a good rod overall. Super sensitive, really stylish. And the blank, you know, once you guys buy it or feel it in person, it's gonna feel nice, you know. And for 60 bucks, I mean, you know, uh, street prices, you can't get much better than that.